Say something. Love Talk Radio. See? We're live. Sure. Um, now what do we do? I have to uh, talk. Oh, we, we go I with the... generally, yeah. Generally, okay. we discuss the name of the show, which point then I shoot down your ideas. Yeah, but we're really going to discuss the name of the show today because, like, we're really going to pick a name of the show. Maybe okay. not today, but we're really going to pick one. But y'all didn't like the dorks anything. Yeah. So we can't do dorks because I'll wind up being the only dork here, even though, you know, whatever, y'all were in denial, that's fine. Um, You didn't like the water water cooler type stuff. What about, like, the the bar is the place a lot of people hang out after work, so what about, like, the bar? The bar? That's kind of nondescript. Bar or something bar. Or we lost our viewers. See, we suck. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Wow. Yesterday we were in fact talking about uh, drinking and what was it? <laughs> we're not going to do that every day. So <laughs> maybe they were only here for Sniper. Once we realized Sniper wasn't here, they just left. I think so. Uh, Where has Sniper been anyway? Oh, maybe it was. Sniper. Maybe, maybe he had, had to hike down on a quest to get a microphone. Oh, maybe that's that's in New Mexico and he has to go to maybe the that's why he had to Yeah. Oh no. Anyway, we're fine. Um, but yeah, we need a name. So like well, it can't be the bar because that's very nondescript. They're talking like a metal bar. The dork bar. Am I walking down the street and there's a bar hanging out a window and I smack my face on it? That kind of bar. That would hurt. Bar. Am I trying to pass the bar exam? Is that an option too? Is it that kind of bar? Sure. Steve, so if you could spell the bar exam, you could pass it. <laughs> uh, you mean the bar exam to become a lawyer? <laughs> Yeah, I think I think there's more required than knowing how to spell. Yeah, bar. yeah, but Maybe it could be the bar examination. I'm trying to make a point. <laughs> a point. I've heard stories that's very difficult. Making a point? No, a point becoming of... a lawyer. Oh, becoming. I don't a know. Depending it... who you're talking to, making a point could be very difficult. I mean, it can't be that hard. That Vinny guy made it, you know, and he seemed kind of weird. I'm so angry. One of my people did not have to die for that cause. I mean, are you talking about a game? Seriously? Yeah. You're on a show. Shut up. I know. <laughs> no games on the whole point to die, David. It's a fact. Yeah. No, nothing <laughs> dies. It's a fact of life. Get over it. You know, you just need to. Well, uh, uh, aren't there like two people in the Bible who didn't die? Um. Well, no. There's uh, actually. Well, it depends on how you look at it. Okay, because Jesus is not exactly just a person. But uh, then there's a there's Elisha. There's one on the fiery chair or whatever. Yeah, Elisha. Yeah, him. Yeah, but he's the only one that didn't really die. Other than that, everybody's pretty much died, except for there's going to be two people who have apparently not died. Suspicions are whether it's Moses or not. But you know, Well, vampires. Yeah. Vampires are not in the Bible. Not yet. They're not, period. You can't, it's I mean, not a yeah. bad thing because you're not editing the Bible anymore. I'm going to say, I'm pretty sure there's no more editing. It's already kind of final print. Well, we'll put it this way. Not until Jesus comes back and he decides to change things because there's going to still be like a thousand years after that. So maybe it'll change at that point, but we're not there yet. Kind of doubtable. So, yeah. Anyway. But we'll, well, I say we'll. Hopefully we'll, you know, maybe see me all change your views or something. We'll be way long gone before then. So, anyway. Back to how the heck is this helping us get a show name? Oh, it's not. Simple as that. <laughs> oh, it's caught the uh, facts of nothing. I don't know. I'm not... Facts of nothing. I have facts of nothing. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we know that. Let's, yeah, we're obviously doing really well on the show name tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the it's show. Like leaps and bounds. So we should just call it the show. I mean, cool, but that should seem feels very personal. Do you want a creative yeah, name? A more personal. I've been trying to be creative. It's not working. I think we need to take on that one generation where we think of the name of the show on somewhere other than the show itself. No, it's that's just not that's not part of the bit. I oh, know we don't have enough time. Yeah, really. that, what are these bits? The bit is to figure out the name of the show. Well, a bit's about to be what you're about to do. That's what a bit is. No. So yeah, but I think it's adequate enough of time for us to agree on a name. The amount of time we oh, spend. we need a whole show devoted to just the name. Exactly. Are we doing that right now? Okay, you, you, ever, you ever heard of working out and they call it CrossFit? We'll call it a CrossFit. No. No? Fine. No. <laughs> League of Nothings. No. Drunk, we have it's a suggestion of drunk it. dreams. Drunk dreams? Drunk dreams. Yes. Our listener has suggested drunken dreams. Drunken okay. dreams. Well, that's not so. Are we, 
the dreams of a drunk person? I don't know. We're not drunk, though. I may be Irish, but I don't drink. I can drink if we need it. Uh, you, you could you could do that for us. You'd, you'd be willing to sacrifice for the show that way. I would be willing to sacrifice my liver for the show. Wow, David, you just need an excuse to drink, don't you? That's, yeah, that's, you know, I mean, that's awesome that you'd be willing to I do that. An excuse. I, I'd say more of a reason to drink. Right now, I don't have any reason to drink. <laughs> well, well, there's. I mean, there's lots of people in the world that don't need a reason to drink. Didn't we discuss that yesterday? Well. Yesterday we talked about being alligators. <laughs> well, that's that's what that's what we were talking about. <laughs> so, yeah. um, no, I, I mean more or less like uh, I don't have any reason to go out to the bar. I don't have any friends around me, so I don't have any. You have no friends. I have no friends other than the people that's that I what we'll call the show. Is we have no friends. <laughs> I have friends, but I you're friends. Just, just David. Just oh, yeah, here your we go. friends are on the show. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> How about? Call the show online. Is what? Random online. We are very random. Oh, that sounds like a name of a game or like a random online. The game. Yeah. So we'll just call the, the show ADD, dude. AD as well. In some cases, ADHD. I'd say anyone here who has ADHD raise their hands, but nobody else would be able to see it. Well, then you're safe. See, that's that. Yeah. That's that anonymous type of polling thing. That you don't see may or may not raising my hand. Simple as that. Yeah, see? You'll never know. And I'm not going to tell. Exactly. <laughs> but, no, I, I don't know. I'm, I've been trying to think of the name for a bit. It's just not working. So, I don't know. It's just not. Do your bit. What? Do your bit. What do you mean a bit? Do your bit. Do your bit. You're your team. Yeah, do your oh. bit. Your bit. You don't even know your own bit. Wow. Grab oh, your little book. Hit a few things. Oh, his Fine. book. Random page. We're going to do a whole page worth of random facts, apparently. Hopefully they're good ones. We're going to just analyze them as we go. As long as we have you ask the question and we answer the question, like you did last week. Well, it depends before. on what kind of facts he's got. Okay, okay, then. Keep talking over me. I'll never be able to, you'll never hear it. Has a woman ever won the U.S. Medal of Honor, it asks. Yes. Um. How many? Uh, How many? You didn't ask me. You only asked me. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, okay. Professor, quick. Professor, give me an answer. Fine. I think, sure, yes. The chick on the movie with the tanks, sure. Okay. Uh, we have our answers. How tall was Tom Thumb? Tom How Thumb. tall was Tom Thumb? <laughs> uh, Tom, Tom, Tom. Hang on, let me get my ruler. Hang, hang on. <laughs> two, two, three inches. I'm being three feet. I'm three saying feet. four inches. Sorry, no answer, David. You took too long. Oh, okay. Three fifty four. You gotta give him a turn. <laughs> too long, man. No, yeah. because he, no, we got this. Is, uh, you have to shoot out the answer. Quick, next question. Oh, by the way, one female winner as of nineteen ninety about for the okay. middle of honor. Who was the tallest person ever recorded? Wait, wait, was she the chick in the tank? Uh, Mary Walker, who served as a surgeon in the fifty second Ohio Regiment during the Civil War. Civil War. No, she wasn't no. chicken in the tank, obviously. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing 10 feet. I already said 3 feet, 4 inches. <laughs> oh, oh, you right. said the, yeah. one. You said yeah. the tallest recorded. No, who was the tallest person ever recorded? Oh. Oh, tallest person ever recorded? Andre the Giant. No, it's not Andre the Giant, although he actually did amazingly get close. I don't but, even know names. Give mine. It's as of like 19... No, you don't even... It's the or Jake. Or so. it's Jake. His name is Jake. Done. Next question. <laughs> All I know is he's in the uh, Guinness Book of World Records. I bet. Robert there you go. Is he in the Guinness Robert Book of World Records? Not Dave. I don't know. But he probably Eight is. Feet. He's got a whole bunch of useless records. Eight feet, 11 inches. Eight feet. Uh, that's the top. That dude. No, dude. Goliath was bigger. Screw them. That's, well, recorded. Like his height recorded. Uh, Goliath is recorded. His exact height was not recorded. I don't it believe. Says, it said he was really big. It says over 11 feet. That's not an exact type. Sorry. That's Denied. Totally Denied. Denied. Who was the most married person in history? Oh, was it was Taylor. Oh, I want to say King Henry VIII. I'm going to go with that. No, he only had four. I know. I'm just saying it's probably. Elizabeth Taylor had 11. David, what do you say, David? You uh, you married the person? Like, long getting good, married? Long could. Oh, wait. Oh. I am. No, 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 wait, wait. The king and I had 9,000 wives and concubines. No, oh, that's what it was. 9,000? Yeah. Okay. Solomon, by contrast, has only seven hundred. 
Wow, he'd be so oh, so awesome. Dude, <laughs> you radical. Okay, ten times more. Okay, pause right there, dude. What do you do with nine thousand women? Same thing you do. Why do you think he needs such a lot of talents? I'm Walk just like and say you have nine thousand wives. Is that just so like the whole country's married to you and you're all like, yeah, I'm married to everyone here? So hey, you're kind of hot. You're in my bed tonight. I mean, That's kind of how it goes. I'm sure. Probably. <laughs> you know the size of those palaces, right? They would have tiring rooms dedicated to the harem. Okay, at that point, there's going to be a problem in that country because you can't sleep with your cousins and stuff, as of what we discussed last night. They're really going to screw people up, man. I mean, there's going to be that one dude who decided to not be part of the family, and he's going to be able to marry anybody he wants, but then he's going to be related to everybody. <laughs> don't worry. They're just concubines. They don't count. Dude, Christmas is going to suck. <laughs> you know how many people you got to buy for? That's why the dollar store was invented. <laughs> oh, crap. Right. We got, we got to buy, yeah. Even there, though, $9,000. $9,000 at the yeah. dollar store. And that's, just, that's just the wives, okay? Not including, like, hey, you know, help your cousin, your sister, your yeah, brother. Yeah, good thing you're assaulted. That's why it was a yeah, good thing you're assaulted. Simultaneously, that's why it still exists. Another important thing about the harem is, is that you produce heirs at such a quick rate. Like King Henry Gates problem. He just didn't have enough wives fast enough. Yeah. This guy, he has so many wives ready. He can have like seven children at the same time, and one of them is bound to be an heir. Yeah, but I mean, nine thousand wives and only seven children—you know something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not walking. Straight. He's that dude strutting down the street going, "It ain't me." I'm just. <laughs> I'm just saying he could have a few. <laughs> a few. <laughs> <I'm> just a... <laughs> No, if a guy, it's got a, a smaller hair, I mean, yeah, we got seven. That guy, though, I mean, he would have so many sons that no matter how many they were assassinated, there would always be an heir. <laughs> Think of that. That's still more than seven. <laughs> hey, does, does he go with the whole, like, conception of, like, the George Foreman thing and just call them all George so he can keep up with their name? George 1, George 2, George 3, George 4, George 5. Wait, I just it's figured out you're one, a... Yes, it's that... Get, a, get themselves established in like society or do good enough achievements, would then be able to be worthy of being remembered by the Sultan. And you got to think of that. I mean, a lot of issues a lot of times, and like Jennifer said, they just didn't have enough children. How do they pick which son is his hair exactly? Probably wait. The hairiest one. The one, one that, that survives? The one yeah. That, he just lets them all start killing each other off. He's like, wait, well, which yeah, one exactly. makes it? Put them in an arena, have them fight each other, and the winner wins. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's all. Uh, that once a year right before Christmas, probably, yeah. Yeah. See, there's the gift problem solved. Yeah, see, yeah. yeah. Well, Arenas I mean, fix everything. If you think about it, in theory, in the, in the time theory, it was a very uh, useful method. Yeah, I'm thinking about it in terms of, like, I think I figured out why certain countries are poor. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> you can't make it through without being poor, dude. You're like, I if bought you a grain of sand. If whole, Christmas would help. No, you're just like, I bought you a grain of sand that cost me a penny, and I'm still broke and couldn't afford one for everybody. I'm just, you know, that's bad. Yeah. Well, I, I think there's an overlying oh, problem. Call in number. <laughs> call in number would be 213-943-34. Three, four. We might actually have a caller. Oh, I don't believe. I don't believe you. I'm just. Yeah, it's not. It's not going to happen. Okay, okay. fine. And one more it thing. Won't happen. So, when, it, when he does, I won't know how to answer because we never had one. So there you go. Exactly. Yep. Like take Africa for existence uh, example. There were people which relied off of a hunting system, you know, herds and whatnot, and people came and tried to convince them they should make farms. A lot of things. There's a lot of issues in making farms in Africa. Did I explain to you locusts before? Nonsense. Did I explain to you locusts? Spray, locus? Spray your can of locusts be gone. And oh, everything will you know what? Die. Hang up on that. I'll give you the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, 718-506-1599. <laughs> oh, wow. Where are you sending him? What what you you oh, we've never had a call in person before. I thought I gave the thing on the on the show. It doesn't give the... Really? Hang on, I got to do show mechanics here. <laughs> oh, great! She's gonna yeah. stop talking. Yeah, I got to pull up our oh, thing. I'll, I'll just, just, to I'll just keep talking stuff. about loci then. Okay, you, I'll keep okay. talking. I'm doing show mechanics. Loci? Are you sure? I, don't know. I felt like saying loci just for the hell of it. Yeah. But locusts. <laughs> See, the issue with locusts is, in the event that any good crops occur, a locust swarm will persist, which will devour what's like 
14,000 metric tons of food in like a day or something along those lines. It's a very unbelievable number. Yeah, they have pheromones, which cause them to eat until they die, actually. Can you talk? I can talk. Hang on. Yeah, I can, can, I can talk pretty well, too. Yeah, we actually have a call. See, we have a caller. There you go. Oh, I think it's it just actually happened. I was supposed to screen him and everything, apparently. It says I didn't screen him properly, so I don't know what he wants to talk about. Oh, no, no. no. We don't even know what we want to talk about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talking about locusts. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Well, the okay. web feed is actually off by a little bit, so I was oh, yeah. it's, looking it's like everything trying else to got a delay. Yeah. So, but y'all how can we help about you, the, uh, Mr. Person, you? <laughs> y'all were talking about the kids and uh, the wives and everything. Yeah. Well, y'all heard about the 18 kids by 17 women? Oh, you, where is this? Uh, is this you, current? What the heck is what? that? What did we just get hung up on? No, he's still there. What? Oh, it's yeah. him. No? Are, are you okay, okay there, man? <laughs> are you going crazy? <laughs> Whoa, I'm getting a... Oh, hang on. I know what it is. What? Oh, it's me. What's wrong with you now? <laughs> Apparently, I'm echoing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, boy. That was really weird. Okay. So, All right, so about children by... Whatever. <laughs> I heard 18 children and 17 women. Yeah. James? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, you can tell I'm, I've obviously got this caller thing on how it works really well. Yeah, when <laughs> man was, uh, here, we'll take well, this. We'll post give it out the here. good phone number. Yeah. yeah, I give out the perfect phone number, of course. <laughs> so. Yeah. So now 22 kids by 14 women, lost count, but loves all 18 kids and 17 women. Of course he does. He's just oh, hoping sure. one grows up and hot. And they can marry her, too. Oh, Tennessee. I should have guessed. You know, it's probably going to guess Georgia. No offense to people in Georgia, but offense. Well, <laughs> well, you know what his son's names are, right? Billy Every Bobby other one's Johnny. named Jack. The other ones are named Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Evident. <laughs> they pair off. Boy, it's a sin to you. How many children do you have? Roughly 18. I do. I have 22, man. That's no big deal, dude. I knew people that did that all with one chick. He does have a plan, though. I played the hell out of it to the Tennessee Lottery, he told the News Channel 5. Wow. I mean, hell, that's a plan. I would... Even though I thought he already has a plan, which is, what is it, child care or child support? Well, no, that's, you know, they only well, have like long five children or like a, a king so we could afford the stuff. No, no, I mean, I've looked into this before. I mean, if you get a certain amount of children that you you actually start getting paid money by the government, which is more than the cost of the children themselves. So essentially you can survive without a job by only having a large amount of children. Ooh, FYI, taxpayers are paying $7,500 a month to support Shaw's 22 kids. Okay, so here's how, here's what he exactly. should have said to the media is he should have said I have a plan to become a sultan. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot more he, sense. He can actually sit around all day with all those children because he's being paid by the government for to support the children and he's being paid so much by the number of children he has it's supporting him too. Well, welcome to the urban I be economics. I know. That's how it works. So right now we are paying for his children. Yeah. What's our next fact? <laughs> Don't even ask the caller's opinion on the matter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he gave his opinion. He, he thought that the dude with the 18 kids was awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he gets to, okay, we'll give him first go at the next fact. Oh, okay. Um, next random fact. Open to new page. Uh, where does go to cheese come from? Goda cheese? What's Goda? G-O-U-D-A. Uh, okay, color. What do you think? No clue. That's not an answer. Just get something really random. random. Just get to the random thing. Pick a country. Pick a uh, Greece. Pick a planet. Greece. Greece. Well, it's got Greece in it. Yes. <laughs> the Congo. I like that answer. Let's go with that answer. Family feud time. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Service okay. Fan the feud. Whatever. The original <laughs> yeah, Chief city of Gotha in Western Netherlands, chartered in 1272. You think it would be a good idea to credit the book I'm reading out of? Um, no, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> well, yeah, I got a random facts book here, too. It's just different facts, so there you go. It's called Guinness Book of World Facts, Records, and Things. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, next one. You just you like these, don't you? Pick an interesting one. Uh, yeah. How was California named? How was California named? Okay, okay, so, like, there was this dude named Cal. He was pretty popular. That's all I got. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> California names. <laughs> okay, they, 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 okay, they were trying to get people to move there. Mr. Cow was. And he was all like, you know, he's like running for president at the same time. So he was all like, Cal for yeah. And they screwed it up. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Any other guesses? <laughs> I'm going to go with Native Americans. I mean, that seems like a good reason to explain anything that happens. That's all the stuff in Florida. I'm going to mix a little bit of uh, Steve-O's and a little bit of Professor's. I'm going to say... So you're just stealing. I'm an American, American named Cal? <laughs> yeah, no, not an American. Not a Native American named Cal. Oh, American. Native Americans had a name for it. The English couldn't pronounce it, so some guy kind of ruined the name and thus it became California. I see. So the guy's name was Cal, though, huh? Yeah, exactly, and the guy's name was Cal. Does, does the call yeah. to say anything yeah. on this? Oh. Guess, guess. Do you like guessing? Or is he gone? Take Google. Okay. I bet. can't tell. I know. It's like the caller thing's weird. She's got it delayed or something. See, so this is why everybody it's delayed. Says callers. It's just a matter of online is delayed. Online is delayed? Oh, so yeah. it's you, not us. Okay. <laughs> so are you calling in on, like, what are you, are you calling in with a cell phone or are you calling in, like, another way? Yeah, I'm calling on my cell but I was listening into the show online, waiting for oh, okay. y'all to do your thing, and I'm wondering if y'all were talking to me or if y'all were talking to the show still. Oh, we're just talking. Haven't you noticed? We just ramble over each other all day. <laughs> part of the, it's part of the steep. Steep? You just the guy with go. jalapeno? Steep? No, that's the, don't say, don't, not that kind of stick. We get sued for that kind of stick. Okay, not that steep. kind of stick. Got it. It's the it's kind of steep you stick somewhere else. <laughs> Not a jalapenos. Okay. Okay. No, but um, um, yeah. Would you like to know? Doing, we're just doing facts all day. Yeah, yeah. So, where's why was California named? Yeah, no. We were, well, yeah. it was named because it needed a name, Stephen. Gosh. Oh, okay. I uh, can I'm sorry. The how to do all the crime I fell asleep. In 1535, the site of what is now Baja. Baja, Baja, whatever, California in Mexico evoked for Spanish conquistador Hernan Cortes, an imaginary island and its female black ruler, Calafia, in a popular Spanish novel. In September 1542, when Spanish explorer Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo stepped on shore from San Diego Bay, the entire Pacific coast had been named California. Spain. Spaniards from Mexico. Spaniards from Mexico. That is why it's California. So we can blame... Spaniards for California. Spaniards well, I, don't think, I don't think we blame the Spaniards enough. <laughs> we need to step up on that. I thought we were right. blaming Canada. I know, but we what? always blame Canada. It's always not. Well, what have the Spaniards done? What, what haven't they done? Uh, exactly. Uh, I mean, they gave us California. I mean, dude, all you got to do to know is about Spain and just kind of go, what the Spanish heck? Look at Louisiana. So there you go. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they have using accents. Yeah, they have parishes and stuff. It's a problem. We're going to have cities like everybody else. Come on. What, they don't have cities? I'm pretty sure they have cities. No, they have parishes. A parish? I'm sorry, it's not cities, it's counties. (laughs) They don't have counties, they have parishes. What the heck's a parish? Parish is what your milk does. Parishes. It's perishables. It's not county. County. It seems like a very complicated issue that you have with Spain. I think you need to work this out. Well, it's really France, but I need it to be Spain right now, so it's Spain. Oh, okay. Uh, so now it's Spain. <laughs> it's, it is. Right. Just like the Netherlands okay. or Greece earlier. So, next random fact. Uh, I must. Oh, by the way, this is why we. In the, world. the explanation exactly. on California is the reason we do not need the answers. 
<laughs> but everyone must know that there are nine nuts per ounce of Cracker oh. Jacks. Very, very important. Wait, which nine is that? Nuts per ounce? Nine nuts per ounce of popcorn. What nuts? I mean, there's a large variety of nuts out there. I mean, te- it's one of the peanuts. technical. It's peanuts. it's peanuts. No, no, I want to imagine all the possible nuts that could be in this Cracker Jack right now. No, it's just peanuts. Peanuts. Hey, hey. It's hey. Been, nope, too bad. Hey, listen. Be happy. It gives you a prize. And here is how it's going. But now I can't because you just told me what it was. How many, how many nuts per ounce does this show got? Uh, well, right now, I'm pretty sure it's full. <laughs> <laughs> just taking a guess. There's the yeah. name. But it's per, per ounce. ounce. How much do you weigh? Oh, Tenzo. And obviously the collar for calling. <laughs> that makes five. So five nuts per ounce, evidently. Yeah. Nice. I can't even count today. I'm doing awesome. Ah, uh, yes, of course. We, oh, I, I counted, I counted the, the radio show. That's what I did. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, you're definitely one, at least. <laughs> and it okay. definitely counts. Oh, man. Jeez. You know, I just remembered a friend that I have who claimed that McDonald's hamburgers had no meat in them and they were just chemical crap. And then later on, they also criticized McDonald's for killing cows. Okay. <laughs> totally makes sense, right? I, oh, yeah, no, no. I'm with them on the I first think part. I, I think I went through this with you, the that they killed the cows for the pure amusement of it. Wait, wait, wait. That's the caller. Caller, how many pounds of, of cows does McDonald's kill in a year? None. It's all about pink None. Stuff. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not that they could if they wanted to. Yeah. However, pork they kill, kill plenty of because, you know, they got to have neck ribs. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm probably. just going to stay by with That's my theory that they kill cows for the fuel amusement of it. Now, I am going – here. quiz, quiz. Here's a quiz, Americans. In order, which five people are in line of succession for the presidency? The guys with the biggest guns. <laughs> and there's a time when I had this memorized, but I'm – All right, let's on. start with if the president um, dies – who becomes president? Okay. It, president. You, see, you got to clarify this question first, okay? What caused it to where we need a new president all of a sudden, okay? Was it heart like attack. These are all heart attacks. Completely natural heart attacks. I was going to go with the whole Independence Day movie theme. Nope. All right, so if the vice president dies, then who becomes president? Is it Speaker of the House? Secretary of State? Be more specific, please, Steve-O. Wait, this is Speaker of the House, Speaker of the House? I can't remember. No, exactly. it's the majority chair. No, oh, yeah. Speaker of the House of Representatives. Yeah. And then if he dies, then who? Hmm. Let's see. Then it, it's someone at Emily. <laughs> Are you sure? It could be a dog. Or a robot. <laughs> a robot. <laughs> yeah, it could just be a robot. We can't be sure right now. <laughs> You never know. There's there's people out there right now that are going to listen to this later and be like, God, these guys are stupid. President pro tempore of the Senate. Ah, uh, that guy. And then that follows David. Secretary, the Secretary of State. Isn't pro yeah. tempo that really Wouldn't old Wouldn't that guy? be a chick, though? Yeah, just because he's old. No, secretary doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. Okay, when have you ever seen a male secretary? Um... I trained for one as a high school student, so that yeah. way I could... Did you ever make it? Yeah, you trained for one. Yeah. Did you become one? What do you do? I do nothing. Okay, see? That's what happens. Wait, I just have one more question. Magic Why caller, there? who is the fifth in line for the presidency? <laughs> wow. I... It's probably the dog. <laughs> I think it's probably. the dog. Oh. <laughs> no, no, Nate wants things to be better than what we have right now. But... Uh-huh. Well, the, the one we have right now is, is doing a good job of taking us places. Unfortunately, it's the wrong direction, but we're moving places, dang it. He said there'd be change. He didn't yeah, say it would man, be positive. Change. <laughs> exactly I know, I always true. pointed that out. I was like, he says there's change. The man did stand by his go? word. He said there would be change. Uh I'm just happy I'm not living in the world of a Sarah, a Sarah Palin. Dude, what about Sarah Palin? Well, think about it. McCain's pretty old, and everyone knows the amount of stress which occurs with a presidency. If he died, we'd be living in the world of Sarah Palin. Actually, it was it was supposed to have been um, 
uh, Hillary that was running, not Obama, if you go by certain policies out there right now. So. I was just saying I'd rather be living in the world of, say, Sarah Palin than in the world of what's-his-face, over the vice president now. I don't even remember his name. Joe oh, Biden. He's, he's an art yeah. factor. It doesn't matter. There you go. My grandfather gave Biden fl- uh, a good amount of – he says good things about him, and if I trust my grandfather, I trust Biden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, tune in next um, uh, tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know. Tomorrow. I will and, have uh, Cracker Jacks tomorrow. No. No, you well, won't. Then, get back in your hole. We'll get in a dang show name, and we'll maybe have another we'll, caller. No, we won't. Maybe I'll know how to give him the right phone number next time. <laughs> we great. It, it's a distinct possibility. I'm going to go now. Yeah. Okay. Should we come up with a plan to yeah. to talk to the callers when they first call in? Okay. Like, We're supposed to have ended it already. It says I'm still recording. It does. Maybe yeah. it has ended. Maybe we're like stuck in a loop. I don't know. We're making up for yesterday starting a little late, but nobody knew that. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, I don't.